Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The teen accused of killing two gay men and a transgender woman has formally been charged with murder and assault. 18-year-old Devin Robinson was arraigned this morning. Police say Robinson shot and killed Alante Davis, Paris Cameron, and Timothy Blanchard inside a home on Detroit's east side last month. Robinson's also accused of shooting and injuring two other people. He faces up to life in prison if convicted. And today, family, friends, and former colleagues gathered at the 6th Police Precinct in Detroit for an emotional vigil to honor a fallen police hero, Sergeant Elaine Williams. She was shot and killed during a domestic situation at her home in Garden City last Sunday. Eddie Johnson, the man accused of killing Sergeant Williams, has now been charged with first-degree murder. And Fiat Chrysler is recalling almost 300,000 vehicles here in the U.S. The recall covers certain 2019 Ram 1500 pickups. The company says a third of those pickups are still with dealers. The problem involves a software error in some restraint systems. It could disable airbags and seatbelts. Fiat Chrysler is also checking out some 2020 models that may have the same problem, but they're still in pre-production and not in the hands of consumers. The company plans to contact customers and dealers will fix this problem free of charge. And our high temperature climbs up to around 78, mostly sunny and pleasant. Winds will be picking up a little bit. So for tonight, we're down to 57. Lakeshore flood warnings go into effect from Macomb, Wayne, and also down towards Monroe counties as those strong winds will stay with us throughout the day on Saturday. So that's the only thing to take away from it. At least we'll have a high of 81. It's going to be a picture-perfect picture scenario, but rain returns both Sunday as well as Monday. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Well, the world's largest bounce house is inflating in Stephens Park in Fraser. It opened this afternoon. There will be three separate sessions for toddlers, kids, and adults. The bounce house is open through Sunday and again next weekend. It has 10,000 square feet of fun. All right, those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download the free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great weekend.